Here I'm going to give you information on fitting a boat catch onto a multi-hulled boat. Now the kit you would use to do that we would call a cat kit. You still have a choice of a small and large, the small being for cats under 6 metres and the large being for cats 6 metres and above. You would receive all the same components in the kit as you do when you buy a mono hull kit. The only variation would be that coupling may have a different handle fitted, but that all depends on just where you want to locate the unit on your boat and trailer. So let's check that out. Where would you fit it? There's a few choices. We'll have all these photographs here to best explain. This is a typical fit up on a cat where our mounting arm bolts onto the crossbar and points back and up towards the underside of the hull. On the end of that mounting arm is our sanded pivot bracket and our coupling. And this coupling has what we call a side pull handle, enabling the skipper to pull the lanyard, which pulls the handle sideways and the force goes back around the pontoon, back up to the skipper. Now that mounting arm is up on an angle. When you buy a boat catch, you actually get an arm that sits horizontal. So if you bolted that onto your crossbar, it would point back horizontal, which would not suit your needs. So what you'll have to do is either cut in there and up there and remove some metal and then bend it up on the angle that suits your needs, then re-weld and cold gallet, or maybe come out here, which I think is a bit easier, cut a V up there, bend it up on the angle and, as I say, re-weld and cold gal. Here's a different setup on a different boat. Now this is a twin hulled boat with a wave breaker in the middle and they've decided to go down below the winch strap and fit our eye through into the, under the anchor well there, it's bolted through the fiberglass into under the anchor well. It is our standard mounting arm that's just shortened down as it's supposed to be. Our pivot bracket where you set your angle up on the coupling by just in that pivot bracket. And the coupling with a side pull handle. On this particular boat, and they are all different, they've had to go a little bit lower so that the coupling is underneath that eye. And therefore they've had to put a little brace down there, a little bracket off the crossbar and they bolt it directly to that. Now, on a different model boat, you may very well have simply been able to put our, our mounting arm a little bit higher and just put the bolt either side with our standard backing plate. Would have required none of this. But they're all different. Here's an aluminium boat. A lot of aluminium boats are on custom trailers. And if that's the case, it'll be aluminium and therefore it's quite simple to make your own little bracket or have your trailer builder make it their own little bracket that goes up on the angle and they put a flat flange on the end of it with four bolts. Now those four bolt holes will match onto our coupling exactly and uh, it's a really, really simple fit up. Now you'll note the coupling is on an angle. You need to do this with the majority of cats so that the edge of our jaw area doesn't touch the hull. The coupling works perfectly well on that angle. It's not a problem. 30 degrees is not a problem. Straight, 20 degrees, whatever you want, it all works. <clears throat> Once again, a side pull handle. And remember that if you wish, in the thinner section of the handle, you simply put a bit of pipe on there and give it a bend up to suit whatever angle you need. Notice that one, it's bent up on there, on that angle so that it doesn't touch here. And <clears throat> on another unit, as we showed you, it didn't need that at all. Okay, it is made to be bent at that point, so remember you can do it. Just always hold that piece firmly, hold the, the, the thicker area firmly, and give that a bend. Okay, another custom trailer. Once again, aluminium, and they've made their own little mounting arm with a flat flange. There's the four bolts, bolt onto the back of the coupling with a side pull handle. 
I'm actually a bit of a fan of this method here where the customer has fitted off to the side of center. The advantage in doing this is you don't have to work around the winch or the winch cable or the winch cable eye. So if you've got a strong location in your anchor well that you can put those bolts of the eye through, this is always a good option. You will still need the side pull handle. Now this is the other choice, choice number three. A lot of the commercial cat operators are doing this. They're fitting onto the starboard pontoon. They're making their own custom bracket going above or below, I think above is probably the best way to go, above the rubber stopper there. And for this, you get to use a standard handle. So you would buy a standard boat catch kit. This is the same boat, just the opposite side, so you can get an idea about the bracket. You'll see our coupling has a nice flat flange on the back of it, really easy to pick up. I'll show you that flat flange. There it is there. If you don't want to use our galvanised brackets, or if you want to make your own custom bracket, remember you can do that. Alrighty, now don't forget, Lifetime warranty. Doesn't matter if you're a commercial operator or private operator. Boat Catch has a lifetime warranty. Enjoy the product.